Yes, I have outcomes like win and lose, right? The problem is I have to associate now a value for winning and a value for losing. So let's stop and think about this. If you play this game and you, let's do the lose first, and you lose, how much money did you lose? You lost what? A dollar. So I'm going to put losing a dollar being minus one. Minus one. A dollar was taken from your pocket. Okay? You subtracted a dollar from your pocket. Is that true? So that's going to be a negative value associated with losing. You subtract a dollar because it costs you a dollar. Isn't that right? Okay? Maybe you got five bucks in your pocket and you had to give one. So you subtracted one. Now let's stop and think about this raffle situation, right? If you win, how much do you really win? How much do you win? Wait a minute. They said you got a chance to win what? 50 bucks. So if you played this game and then they go, ah, here's your 50 bucks, how much did you really win? Good. I can't trick you guys. Did you guys take this course already? Oh, oh I thought it was me. Sorry. All right. You just, you, it's OK. You can break my heart. It's not like it hasn't been done already, right, Eddie? OK, it's not me. It's, you took it before. Well, OK. What's happening here is this. Yeah, they may have handed over $50, but stop and think. One of those dollars was what? Your own. Is that true? One of those dollars was your dollar. So you, even, even though you, they, gave you, they handed over $50, you are really up. $49. You see that there? You really want $49. You say, oh, I want 50 bucks. No. No, let's be specific here. You got $49. One of those dollars was your own. You guys okay with that? You guys okay with this? See what I'm saying? Because you're going to use this logic for those, val those problems. Okay? Now, here's the deal. You see what I just listed here? This is your X, and this is your P of what? X. If they ask you the question, what is the expected value for this game, what are you supposed to do? You're going to use your expected value definition. Okay? And what is that? What is the expected value definition? If I take x and I multiply it with p of x, I do this for every possible outcome. There's only two outcomes here. You either win or lose. So tell me, what is 49 times 1 over 200? Isn't that going to be 49 over what? 200. What is negative 1 times? 199 over 200. What's that going to be? Isn't that negative 199 over what? 200? So who can tell me, what do I do with these values now? What do I do? I add them. This is a what? Summation. Is that right? I add them. So who remembers how to add fractions? Isn't this going to be 49 over 200? Right? Plus a negative 199 over 200. What do you guys get? Negative 150 over? Can you guys tell me what that is as a decimal? What is that as, as a decimal? Negative point what? 75. Is that true? Negative 0 0.75. You guys know what this means? Isn't this negative? This is a negative expected value game. What that means is this. I know P 
people win, I know people lose. One person wins, much more people lose. Is that right? But this is how you think of this concept of expected value, mean. Long run average. In the long run, you can think of this game in the following way. Every person that plays is saying what to the people who hold the raffle? See that negative 75? They're saying, here's my 75 cents. Here's my 75 cents. Here's my 75 cents. Everybody who plays that game is simply donating what? 75 cents. That's the long run average. That's the expectation. See how that works? It's how you're thinking about this. Yes, one person wins and they get that amount of money. But much more people lose and they bring in much more money. So you can think of every person donating 75 cents to that raffle. Okay, and I'm going to say, well, what does this have to do with Las Vegas? Let's note. What does this do with Vegas? Every game in Las Vegas is a negative expected value game. Every game is a negative expected value game. Okay, so let's say, what's your favorite game? What is it? War? They have a war game in Las Vegas? <laughs> War? I don't know. Maybe you play the slots. If you're like me, I hate to tell you. One of you guys want to hear my gambling experience? All right. I played the nickel slots. It's not that I'm cheap. I'm not cheap. I just don't like to gamble. So I played the nickel slots. How much does it cost to play a nickel? I mean, how, it costs a nickel, right? <laughs> so it could be, although I haven't computed this, it could be that for the nickel slots, the expected value is what? Negative 0 0.03. What does that mean? Every time I play the game, I'm saying what to Las Vegas? Here's my three pennies. Here's my three pennies. Here's my three pennies. Here's my three pennies. Maybe you don't like nickel slots. Maybe you play the what? You play the $5 slots? Ooh. Ouch. Just that one more. You got lucky. Huh? Ooh. $5 slots. I'm not saying that this is what it is. But maybe the expected value is minus what? Minus 4. What does that mean? Everybody that plays that $5 slots is saying what? Here's my four dollars, here's my four dollars, here's my four dollars. You see what I'm saying? And that's why you will always see in Vegas, or you'll always get the free drinks, the subsidized breakfast, maybe even depending on who you are, free, the free room. Okay? Because really what's happening is every time people play games in the long run, it's thought, this expected value is negative for every game. They're just taking in revenue. Okay? Now, here's a note, or here's a fact. You can turn, you can turn negative expected value games into what's called positive expected value games. So here's the thing. A positive expected value game is simply an expected value that's what? It's not negative, it's what? Positive, I just want to note that, just to point this out. And how that works is, instead of you going to Vegas and saying, here's my money, here's my money, here's my money, the casino is saying what to you? Here's your